Well, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Lily. Hi. Let me connect my headphones. <laughs> yes, I have a problem with my cell phone yesterday. Okay, well, I hope everything's fixed today, okay? You put a full charge, right? Double battery, double battery, and everything, right? Yes, I'm ready. For okay, today. great. Awesome, awesome. Perfect, perfect. Excellent. Okay, we'll begin here in about one minute when we hit eight o'clock sharp. Okay. So get ready. Amarrando yo solo con esto. Okay, here we go. Okay. And we're going to wait, so get ready. We're going to cover some topics dealing with geography, right? Mm -hmm. de geografía, right? A little bit of science, right? He's saying, hey, clase de ciencia, right? It's going to feel like that when we talk about um, a lot of things that deal with nature and ge geographics. So we'll begin here in about one minute. And I'm going to also get started or introduce okay get a little get the motors going with the comparative adjectives i think someone asked me i remember the first or second class about the comparative and superlatives right no me acuerdo someone asked me that right somebody asked me a question about i think bigger or something or more expensive i can't remember what it was but we will that will be on this topic for unit four real section four right section four on the platform hello veronica hi hello, hi welcome hello carranza majori jory and maria jose good We're... evening teacher hi good evening welcome welcome Milagro, Dina, Roberto Donay, Roberto Carlos, Diego Arturo, Mr. Amilcar, and I think Fernandez is connecting also. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, good teacher. Evening. Hello. Hi. How's everyone doing? Everyone's good? Okay. Everyone's good? Okay. We have some connecting right now. Hello, Gladys. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Okay, let me see. We're almost ready here. Hello, Roberto Garcia. Welcome, DePaul, right, DePaul. We have Eric Fernandez here. Hello, Eric, welcome. And we have Eric Enrique also connecting Veronica Aldane. Aldana, I'm sorry. And let me see. Okay, let's begin. So before we before I put the PowerPoint presentation, right? You already know. I want I'm going to just call on you randomly and you are going to give me the date, right? You're going to give me the date. Okay, let me see. Um ta -ta -ta. Lily. <laughs> Hi, today is Wednesday, July 28, 2021. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Right? Good job. You remember the first time, ¿se acuerda la primera vez que le hice esa pregunta? Today's date, you were like, oh, um, um, right? No, yo digo la misma. Great. Excellent. Lindy, I'm glad to see that you can say it correctly. Very good. Very good, Lindy. Awesome. Let me see. ¿Qué me voy a seleccionar? Mr. Milkat. Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening. Hi, welcome. Today is Wednesday, July 28, 2021. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Let me see. Let me financiar mi teléfono. I don't like interruptions. All right. Let me see. Okay. Um, Eric. Hi, teacher. 
Fernandez, today's day, please. Today is Wednesday, uh, July 28, 2021. Very good, very good. Excellent. Good job, Eric. Okay, Marjorie. Today is Wednesday, July 28, 2021. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Very good. Yeah. All right, Maria Jose. Dun, dun, dun. Um, today's date is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. Very good. Very good. Awesome. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to be a little democratic, right? I'm going to be a little democratic and I'm going to ask voluntarily who wants to volunteer? Who wants to volunteer with the date? A lo que no ha llamado. Okay, Arturo. Today is Wednesday, uh, July 28, 2021. Okay, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Very good, very good, excellent. Me, uh, teacher. All right, Dina. Dina, uh, today is Wednesday, uh, July 28, 2021. Very good, Dina, very good, very good, excellent. Anyone else? Adia Mas, anyone teacher. else? Okay, teacher. Romulo and then Veronica, okay? Romulo and then Veronica. Okay, go ahead. Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. <clears throat> Very good, excellent. Good job, good job. Okay, Veronica. Today, Wednesday, Wednesday July 28th, 2021. Okay. 28th, 8th, 28th, eight. 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 so very good, very good, Veronica, good job, good job. Anyone else? Carranza? Me teacher. Okay. Today, okay. Go ahead, Ms. Michelle, dele, y después Roberto Donay, go ahead. Uh, today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. Excellent, good job, well done. Roberto Adonai. Today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Very good. Anyone else before we continue? Anyone else? Okay. Okay, class. Let's begin with the PowerPoint presentation. And we activate this and get started. Okay. Now I have here vocabulary and geography, but also comparative adjectives. We're going to, to talk about that also. Okay. So let me see who wants to read the topic. I'm going to select someone that hasn't participated. Let me see. Mm, Gladys. The topic, please. Vocabulary, geography, comparative adjectives. Okay, and the date? And today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Well done. Well done. Now, we, these are the topics for today. Basically, the agenda, or if you want to call it the lesson plan, vocabulary, geography, and we are going to talk about comparative adjectives. Remember, comparative adjectives are basically adjectives, okay? Are adjectives that are used to compare two things. Two things, and I'm going to give you uh, examples in different forms because it's important to know the syllables, the syllables, okay? the syllabus of the words. And that is, there are certain rules, there are certain rules, and we are going to do that. Remember that you have comparatives and you also have, what is the other? Someone remember? Superlatives. Yes, very good. Superlatives, right? But first, we have to do the comparatives. 
when we do comparisons, then we will continue with the rest of the topics during the week with superlatives and then combine, y luego combinarlo, right? And then combine them using them in different forms and different ways. So you okay. can do a lot of the exercises and speaking also. Remember, you're going to do speaking today also. All right, so be ready, be prepared. But all you have to worry about today is comparative. Okay, for today, comparative. Only that section. So let's not try to jump. Tratemos de no saltarnos in superlative because we are still going to do it. Siempre se va a hacer. But today, comparatives. Okay? All right. So we can focus and not get confused. Once we master comparatives, then we will master superlatives, and then we can mix both. All right? So let's continue. This is class number nine. Okay? Class number nine. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn some geography vocabulary, okay? As you can see, I have a few of these pictures here. I have a valley here. But let me go to the platform and just show you a quick small video. And then we're going to practice ourselves. Let me see. Hello, Elizabeth. Welcome. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good, e good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Sabe de que estaba haciendo la tarea con mi hija de inglés. Y oh, yeah. Un poquito más en inglés. Entonces, por eso me quedé con <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem. All right, I'm glad you're doing something positive with your daughter, okay? It's very important. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. 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 Now, I'm going to share this. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, sure. Okay, yes. great. Now, here's the topic. This is 4.1, vocabulary, geography. Then we have here, what we're going to do today, these two right here, and then the rest for the week, all right? For tomorrow and then after vacation. Okay, let me see. We're going to start here. Unit, we're on section four, okay? No more section three, section four. And these are the two, 4.1 and 4.3 of what we're going to do today. Okay, one, two, three. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, River, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay, that was it. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the few words. Listen. If you see here, you see the words here, right? You can barely see them, ¿verdad? En realidad, no las pueden ver tan claro, right? You don't see them clearly, right? So what I did is I took this vocabulary and I, I made it bigger and I gave you new, uh, new pictures. Okay. This, uh, all all right. So let's go back to my PowerPoint and you're going to see the same vocabulary. Okay. And a little more and a little extra. So let's go here. That's not my PowerPoint. Here it is. All right, you can see it better. Uh, I gave you, all right, and I gave you extra. I gave you extra vocabulary. Okay, they are all there. So he said, "Teacher, pero están no están ahí." Yeah, I'm giving you extra. Right, they're they're also here. Let me see here. Okay, but let's look at these. Let me make this a little bit bigger. No. 
Okay, here we go. All right. So we have here, and I added a little moon, right? It's ahí la luna ahí, just in case. So you can see luna llena. For some of you that like to go to the beach, mm -hmm. and you see the sun or, or, or just the moon, right, at night in the sun at the beach, and you're probably saying, wait, well, ¿cómo se dice luna llena? Full moon, right? Full moon. moon. So mm -hmm. you have beach, right, which is wherever you go to the beach, and you have canal, canal. It's Panama. Yes, the Panama Canal, right? <laughs> yeah, the canal, right? Un canal, right? No un canal de televisión, right? A canal, right? <laughs> a a water, right? A canal, uh, Panama Canal, right? Panama Canal, Panama. right? You have full moon, full moon, right? Right? Luna llena. Cave, cave, una cave. cueva, right? A cave. Has anyone ever been to Los Chorros? Who has been to Los Chorros? They're in a, where they have. I have been in the first. Okay. Have you been to the cave? Are you a la cueva? It's closed. It's closed, right? Yes, I have been in Los Chorros. And the water is very cold. Okay, yeah, it is. I went, um, I went like what, two years ago, maybe, and the cave was closed, so I couldn't go to the cave. So I was like, oh man, okay. But the cave, you have a road, right? Road. Road. And what about this? Desierto. Okay, in English? Desert. 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 Okay, Desert. very good. Remember, do not get confused with this oh, word. Me. Dessert. All right. Remember, this is dessert and this is desert. Desert. All right. So no vayan a pronunciar esta and be like, yeah, let's go to the dessert. Huh? What? <laughs> right? Vamos al postre. What are you talking about, right? Desert, right? Desert. desert. Postre en el desierto. Yeah, there you go, right? So this is, be careful with this. This is double S. And this is just one S, okay? So you have, yes, so you have dessert, and the other pronunciation is desert. Desert. Very good. Okay, let me do a little, let me call on someone. Eric, can you pronounce both of these, please? Dessert and dessert. Um, okay. Dessert. Desert. 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 Y el otro es de. Desert. 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 Very good. Excellent. Good Desert. job. Let me see, Maria Jose. Desert and desert. desert. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Anyone else that would like to try both of them? Alguien más que quiera. Desert. Okay. Desert. Is the dessert, dessert yes. Is postre. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. That is correct. This is the, this is basically the, the sweet, right? Lo dulcito, sweet, right? Sweet. Si alguien no sabe cómo se dice dulce o sweet. Sweet. Right? Sweet. 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 Dessert sweet. Very good, right? Or sweet dessert, right? Sweet. But sweet dessert. let's pronounce this one. Dina. What? Pronounce these two, please. Dessert. Dessert. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Let me see who put here. Me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay. Let me see. I had a little message. Okay. Now, the... The next part, mountain, 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 right? Significa mountain. montaña, right? Mountain. Uh, road. Okay, road, road, road. una calle. calle. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, carretera, right? A road. Then you have the iceberg. 
Iceberg. Iceberg. Titanic. Ah, Titanic, <laughs> yeah, right? Hey. That, that Titanic. Was, that was my, right? Right? All right. Uh, uh, right? Uh, right? Right? Don't be asking, right? <laughs> you have to start following my idea. All right. So you have the iceberg. All right. You have the iceberg. Iceberg. Iceberg, right? Iceberg. It's a piece of iceberg. ice. Yeah, yeah. They have a stall. Yellow. Yeah. It's rose, a, rose. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> it floats. It floats in the in the cold waters, right? Maybe in the Arctic and Antarctic, in the North Pole, in those regions where it's very cold. And someone said Titanic, right? Yes. Supposedly, right? This is what sunk the Titanic, right? Esto lo que hundió, right? This is what sunk mm -hmm. the Titanic and iceberg. It hit, boom, right? All right. <laughs> Can you? Let me see. And we have the next one is forest. 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 Right. Forest. forest. Run, forest. Run, forest. Run, forest. Run, forest. <laughs> Forest, right? El, el bosque, right? The forest, right? And then we have, how do you pronounce this? Iceland. Forest. No, forest. Island. 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 Very good. Island. Island. You do not pronounce the S. Island. Yes. Yes. All right. Island. All right. Uh, there's another word oh, that se me viene a la mente ahorita. When you go to the supermarket, I'm pretty sure some of you have been to like Super Selectos or Walmart. Or different stores, right? That have que tienen. No me escribe. Hello. What is that? Que lo que escribí ahí en la pantalla. What did I just wrote on the screen? Islas. 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 En español, yo sé que le llaman islas a ciertos sectores en los supermercados, como el de los jamones, las carnes. No sé si estoy equivocado. Okay. We have, these are called isles, right? You can also use this for small okay. islands too. Okay. Small islands, it's also used like that also. Islands. Okay. Isles. 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 Right. Isles. 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 Right. Aisles. So when when you aisles. go when you go to different aisles, aisles oh. so says, for example, you've been to Dollar City, uh, Walmart, like I said earlier, right? The other one was aisles. Uh, como se referente a islas también. This is aisles. It's pronounced the same, pero estamos hablando. I'm going to explain it to you. Está numeración, right? Le dicen allá en el pasillo. En conjunto. El pasillo cuatro. Está la mayonesa. Han yes. ido a un super, le dice, el pasillo mm -hmm. está, eh, right, eh, whatever you're looking for, right, eh, whether it's anything, eso se le llaman aisles. Los pasillos de los supermercados. En el aisle 2, aisle 4, aisle 6. So if you go to the United States, if you go to the United States and you go to Walmart, and you say, um, for example, like this, I said in plural, this is plural, right? But here is singular, I owe four. If you go to a Walmart and it gets, it gets wet, right? And they call on the speaker, um, clean up, clean up crew or whoever, maintenance or whoever, report to I owe four, report this, uh, Ese sector cuatro. IOS, de, las divisiones que tiene todos los, los supermercados, se llaman IOS. Ok? So, if you ever, 
if they ever tell you where is the where is the ketchup oh it's on aisle six usted ya sabe entonces right que alguien le diga it's on aisle six significa el sector se o la área seis el pasillo seis okay? okay all right great that's just extra vocabulary now let me see this um make a screen <laughs> okay, I'm just reading. Okay, all right. Now, who can give me? Let me see the first, the first three. Majority. Select three. Select three of this vocabulary and tell me. Beach, rod, iceberg. Okay, which one was the first one? Beach. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. Let me see. Lily. Canal, for mom, and this dessert. Okay. Desert. All right. Desert. 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 All right. Okay. Very good. Desert, right? Canal. 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 All right. Very good. Very good. Canal. Barley. All right. Let me see. Amilcar. Okay. Uh, road and iceberg. Okay. And full moon. Very good. Full moon, right? Full moon. Anyone else that would like to say some of this vocabulary? Any practice? It's true. Okay. Um, island. Okay. Iceberg. And forest. Very good. Excellent. Anyone else? Anyone else? Me, yes. teacher. Okay. Who is? Dina. Okay, Dina. Go ahead. Desert. Mm. Forest. Desert. 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 Sorry. Very sorry. Good. Sorry. Desert. Iceberg. Okay. Uh, forest. Uh, beach. Very good. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Good job. Now, <clears throat> let me see. Let me take this off. Ailey. What happened? Ailey. Okay, go ahead. Let me come back. Yes? Alguien dijo algo? Someone said something? Ailey or something? Hello? Um, full mom. Okay. Forest. Okay. One more. Forest. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay, Eli. Thank you. You want to choose another one? How do you say desierto? Desert. desert. Okay. Desert. De. Desert. 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 Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let me see. Okay. What do we have here? Look at this. I'm just going to, I'm going to pronounce it and then I'm going to call on like two people so they can, so they can uh, give me, let me see. Oh, what about this one? Forgot this one. What is this right here? Valley. All right. Valley. 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 Yeah, valley. 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 Es un valley. Valle. Valley. Un valle. valley. All right. Valley. Valley. Wow. All right. A valley. Wherever there are two, pretty much like two mountains, and you have like a region that is like un valle, right? It causes a, a valley there. It causes this this small region in this area is called a valley. Okay. This is a valley. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, now let's go to this one. We have a lake. Remember lake. that one? lake. Lake. Okay, what is lake? Lago. 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 Yes, very good. Then we have again esa, right? Desert, right? Desert. 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 Very good. Desert. Then we have forest. We saw that forest. one. Forest. Ri river. River. 
River. River. River. What is a river? Rio. Rio. Very Rio. good. Excellent. Waterfall. 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 Very good. Water. Yeah, it's like a waterfall like this one here, right? Okay. All right. And then we have beach. We saw that beach. one. Mountain. Playa. Beach. Mountain. Montaña. Montaña. Cave. 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 Volcano. No. Volcano. 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 And then we have island. 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 All right. Very island. Good. So, hill. All right. Let me see. Voy a señalar, and then you tell me what it is. Okay. What is? Right. What is this? Volcano. 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 Okay. What is this? Desert. 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 Good. Desert. Excellent. Desert. What is this? Island. 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 Oh, you una S por ahí, right? Island. 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 Very good. Island. Excellent. Mm, Island. What is this? Forest. 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 Okay. Forest. What is this? Water. 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 Very good. Excellent. What about this? Hey. 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 Okay. Okay. okay, here? Beach. 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 Very good. What about this one? Mountain. 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 Right, very good. All right. Estoy escuchando como mountains. It's mountains. 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 Right? Mountains. Mountains. Very good. Mountains. Very good. Mountains. That is American accent pronunciation. Good Mountains. job. Mountains. 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 Very good. Now, Mountains. what is this? River. 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 Okay. Very good. And this one? Lake. Lake. Um, Lake. Very good. Lake. Okay. Can someone tell me the difference between a river and a lake? Can someone tell me the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre un río y un lago? What is the difference? Can someone tell me the difference? How do we know if it's a river or a lake? <laughs> el río corre el agua. El río corre. Y la laguna es estática. All right, can you say it in English? Uh, in, in a river, uh, the water runs. Okay. <laughs> And in a lake? In a lake, uh, the water is stay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. Uh, good explanation. Good explanation. Anyone else? Can someone explain it to me also? Uh, someone else? Maria Jose. Um, the river goes to the sea. Okay. And the lake is a. Uh, Well, stay in a place. Okay. Maybe it can yeah. be a, a volcano. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. A the volcano. Okay. It could be a, a crater, right? Un crater, right? A crater. A crater. Very good. Very good explanations. Very good. All right. <laughs> so remember that a river has movement. A river has movement. Tiene movimiento. Has movement. And just like uh, Maria Jose said, it goes into the sea or the ocean, right? It is deposited there. And then you have a lake is uh, pretty much immobile, 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 right? Immobile, right? It's just steel. And they're both bodies of water, bodies of water, water. cuerpo de agua, right? Bodies of water. Very good, very good. Let me see. Now, oh, I forgot to show you the other one. Stop. Where is it? Okay, we have here. What is this? Hill. Hmm? Hill. 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 Very good. Heel, 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 heel. It's like wheel, como el wheel, pero le pone la he, right? 
Heel. 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 Very Heel. good. Very good. Um, Okay, now without looking at pictures, I want three volunteers. I want three volunteers to just give me something brief. I'll go breve, brief. Give me, or I want you to say something brief and describe one of those places maybe you have been there right for example uh, i have been to lake guatepec right very beautiful right so you you i'm giving more than just the word lake i'm giving a description right i have been oh i tried to go in the cave in los chorros now we use spanish names if that is how they are named recuerden hay nombres propios que no los podemos cambiar right in spanish right so you have to stay with that in certain uh, certain uh, touristic places you have to maintain the proper name of the place right you do not have to change it you can change the lake but you cannot change the name, like Cuatepec. You cannot change it, right? How do you say Cuatepec in English? Cuatepec, right? So <laughs> you can change the word lago and make it a lake, but you cannot change the name given, right? Con quien lo bautizaron, right? How they baptized the lake. So can someone give me an example using the vocabulary that we saw? Any, any mountains, any any volcanoes that are famous in El Salvador or we don't have volcanoes in El Salvador? We don't have volcanoes? Yes, yes, we have. Salco. Ah, okay. We have okay. Volcano y salco. Okay, tell me something. Give me a, something. La Matepec. Okay. Can you give me something descriptive? ¿Me pueden dar algo descriptivo? Can you give me something? Or tell me, I, I, I went or I climbed, I climbed, ah, ah, I climbed the volcano of what? Chaparrestic or which one, right? Which one? Tell me, give me some descriptions. Or uh, do we have beaches here in the Salvador? Or no? Yes. Okay, tell me, t yes. speak. There are there are a lot of beaches in okay. the Salvador. Yes, but give me something specific in your experience. I went, I visited, I swam. Uh, I went on a trip with my family to which beach? Give me an example. Be creative. Sean creativos. But brief. Brief. Pero breve. But brief. Three people. Me. Okay, Lily and then Amilcar. Okay, hello people. Uh, as you know, I went visit the volcano the name is um, Cerro Verde, right? Mm -hmm. The Cerro Verde is a place very cold, specifically in December, right? I, uh, you should visit it in December because it's very cold and it's very nice. And you can climb the mountain, right? And in my in my in my case, my experience is, and uh, I visited with my family, right, uh, with my mother, my sister, my daddy, and my niece. And I remember the place is very, 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 um, very largo. Okay, long, <laughs> right? Long. Okay, very good, Lily, right? A brief. Okay, excellent. Oh, yeah, very okay, good. Excellent. Hey, you did very good, Lily. Remember the word, the verb is climb. 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 Okay, climb. Very good, Lily. Excellent. Good job. Great effort. Very good. Mr. Amilcar. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I got to speak about the Los Chorros. Uh, 
I have gone several times in the church and it really is a beautiful place because uh, there's a lot of people and the water is very cold and the, uh, and there's uh, and there's two uh, swimming pool and the there are swimming pool for the people and for the children too okay so uh, there's a lot of uh, mountain and the place is very it's very cool and <clears throat> And there's a lot of restaurants too, where you can to eat uh, whatever you want. Okay, great, and great. We have gone with with my wife and with my um, my my brothers uh, of the church, and really, it's a beautiful place. I recommend you if you can go whatever time. All right, great. I've been there. I've been there, Mr. Amirka, and yes, they have like a a waterfall, right? Like comes from the mountain. Yes. Okay. It's nice. Yes. I was swimming, right? I went swimming there. I jumped and I started swimming. <laughs> right? Like yeah, okay. right. Even backwards, right? Backwards. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Very cool. Okay. I like cool weather, right? I I love cool weather. So okay, very Thanks. good, very good, right? <laughs> very good. Excellent, right? Um, let me see. Okay. Thank you for participating. And now we are going to continue with the topics. Now remember the last participate. Uh huh. No, no, nobody, no one nobody else, else. Wanted, nobody else. It was only you two, you and Good. Lily. Majority, go ahead. Huh? Ah. <laughs> what? What happened? Majority. Ah, ah yeah, let me look at it. The only majority. Go ahead. At least 30 ah, seconds. Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead. I, I don't know. Uh, I've been uh, more uh, El Salvador, mm. but I'm from Nicaragua. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, what? Okay. But tell us. Mm. Tell us some of the beaches in Nicaragua. Okay. Yes, it's a beautiful beach. <laughs> but, <laughs> Which one? Uh, Which one? I Which one? I went uh I went a uh, visit uh Volcano Mombacho. Okay. In Masaya, okay. Nicaragua. <laughs> All right. Um, um here we are. Uh, we go we went up the crater. Crater. And, crater. Crater. Okay. We were at the crater and we observed uh, the pericos. What okay. do you say, pericos? Parrots. 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 Mm -hmm. I parrots. parrots. Right. Okay, it's a, it's a lot of parrots. <laughs> Different uh, colors, right? Different colors. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. Um, it's a uh, green. Okay. Green, it's, parrots, green, small parrots. Okay. Yes. Uh, nosotros, uh, nosotros le decimos choc. Chocoyos. Chocoyos, aquí, right? Aquí les dice pericos. <laughs> All right, you see different words, right? Different words. <laughs> yes. Right? Okay. Um, um, visit the, uh, the the cave. Uh, okay. Uh, the cave. Uh, um, for the eruption. Okay. Er eruption. Uh -huh. Eruption. Eruption. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, very very dark and cold <laughs> very it's, dark yes uh it's it's, it's beautiful <laughs> i don't know okay I, well, I visited Nicaragua too. okay great awesome awesome Guys. um is there a lake over there a lake or, or a lake over there two two lake yes it's a very lake. big yes uh really? in a uh is uh Tiburones. Okay. Yes, I'm I'm from Managua. Okay, very good. I am from yes. Hinotepe. Yes. Yeah. What? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, awesome. Oh, <laughs> great, right? Yeah. Imagine, see what happens when you start speaking oh, and communicating, oh, no. right? Yeah, you start. Yeah. Like, what? Right? Okay. All right, all right. Well, thank you, Majori, for sharing your 
your comments, right? Very good communication. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Now, let me see. The next topic here is comparative adjectives, right? Comparative adjectives. Can you read? Can you read, um, Eric Fernandez? Can you read the definition of comparative adjectives? Okay. Can you turn on your microphone, please? The comparative adjectives are those adjectives which compare the difference between the characteristics. Characteristic. Characteristic. Characteristic of two different nouns in a sentence. Very good. So here, remember, comparative adjectives are adjectives that compare the differences, right? La diferencia between some either whether it could be different characteristics of two nouns, two nouns, or two things, two people, right? Whatever, whatever you want to compare, it could be two volcanoes if you want, right? But they are used to compare, comparative, with two, with two. Do not get confused with superlatives, okay? Superlatives is a little bit different, but comparative is just two, okay? One and one, one and one, two. Now, we have here, I, I, there's, a, there's a little small list here of some comparative adjectives, but let's look at the structure. The important thing is learning structure, okay? Let me see. Continue. Um, yeah, I'm going to call on Elizabeth. Elizabeth uh, Gutierrez. Okay. okay. Can um, you read if there's comparative adjectives? The comparative adjectives? In our word initial? Ah, aquí. En el otro lado. Yes. Comparative adjectives. Uh, one stable. One syllable. Oh, okay. One syllable. Um, adjective plus E R. E R R. E R. Okay. okay. Very good. And this example. is example. This is the form. Okay. Right. And then the example. Example. Uh, tall plus E R. Um. Uh, taller. Taller. Right. Taller. Okay. Taller. 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 All right. So we have when you have an adjective like tall. Right, tall, alto, right, o alta, tall, and you want to compare two people, right? We use taller, taller, we add er because it's one syllable, es una sílaba, one syllable, tall, 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 one, you add er. And that is for all the adjectives. Esto va para todos. These are for all the adjectives. With one syllable, you add the ER. Okay. Now, when you have two syllables, ojo aquí, please notice here, because there are two syllables. Hay dos secciones with two syllables, right? Two syllables and two syllables. And then it says three or more. Second part, I'm going to call on, let me see, Mr. Amilcar. Hello? I cannot hear you. Okay, Majori, can you, can you continue, please? Two syllables ending in I. Mm. Uh, why? Hey. Why, right? <laughs> why? 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 Ending in why? why. Right, two syllables. Why? Ending in why. Okay, continue. Okay. Why change to E plus ER? Example, happy 
uh, happier. Okay, very good. Now, that is the form. When he has two syllables yes. and he ends in Y, okay? Si tiene dos sílabas y termina con la Y, right? With the Y, you, you take out the Y and you add the I. You add the I and then the ER. And you have the example, happy, happier. 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 How to change the Y for... For, for the for the for the i exactly exactly that is correct right okay so when you when you see that you're like okay happy right happy but he ends in y so you say okay two happy. syllables he ends in y the rule is you do, you take off the y and you add the i plus er right happier happier right and let me see what is another word that we can any other example where ends with a y that is two syllable the word pretty pretty right pretty prettier prettier right so that's another one that ends in the y with two syllables all right mr mika the next one please uh, the two syllables not ending in Y. Very good. Notice here, we have another section that has two syllables, but it doesn't, it doesn't end in Y. And what do we do there, Mr. Amica? Uh, the last. Continue the form. <clears throat> uh, more plus adjective. Very good more plus the adjective okay adjective. so that means we do not change the word no cambiamos la palabra we don't change the adjective we we add the word more okay more. example more plus famous very good or okay. more famous more famous very good no i'm gonna see famous sir right no all right if it's two syllables and it doesn't, no termina con Y, you add more and then the adjective. Primero el more, then the adjective. Do not put the adjective and then say more. No, more and the adjective, and you have the example here. More famous. More famous. Very good. Let's continue. Maria Jose. <laughs> yes, you. Uh -huh. um, three or more syllables. Very good. Uh, more plus adjective. And the example is more plus beautiful mm -hmm. equal more beautiful. Very good. Very good. So I'm just giving you the example there. Very good. So here we have three syllables three syllables three syllables beautiful 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 right three syllables beautiful. we add more more beautiful, more beautiful. you do not more change beautiful. the adjective no se cambia el adjetivo remember that okay so a lot of people get confused with this one because it's like, oh, two syllables, we add more. Yeah, but if he ends in Y, be careful, all right? Be careful there because you have to change the I to the ER, I and then ER. Now, are there some, these are regular, right? And I'm giving you a little bit extra here at the bottom, you have adjective and comparative, right? Here at the bottom, esto se le llaman irregular irregular and I'm going to write it for you okay irregular ah. irregular irregular okay why because we don't add <clears throat> we don't add more ni nada so we just say good we just use the comparative better better okay for example, better. 
okay? For example, we can say Coca-Cola, just for example, right? Coca-Cola is better than what? Mejor que qué? El agua. Okay, better than water, the Juanin, right? <laughs> or, Pepsi. <laughs> or Pepsi, right? Or any other <laughs> brand, right? So we are comparing Coca-Cola with another product, but we are using better as mejor. Not good or gooder or more good. Son irregulares, significa que cambia completamente. Right? Better. Or worse. Shalin quiere decir, no, es peor, right? Can someone give me worse? All right, very good. I said right? The comparative is worse. Worse. Coca-Cola is worse than water. All right? Coca-Cola es peor que agua, right? Que agua. Very good. Then you have far, como para distancia. Far. The adjective, like far. The store, for example, if I say... Mm, I'm going to select a region of El Salvador. Voy a seleccionar a region of El Salvador. For example, a person is here. Digamos que una persona está somewhere in El Salvador. And a person like, oh, no. San Miguel is farther than San Salvador. Right? Or San Salvador is farther than San Miguel, for me, right? right? San Miguel está más, la, más lejos que San Salvador, right? Más lejos, farther, farther, all right? It's farther. Farther. Yes, farther. Don't say farther. Father. Father is padre. Papá, far, farther, farther, right? Farther, right? Very good. Those are irregulars. Right? There are a lot of a little bit more, but we can look at those later. But for right now, I'm just giving you a brief understanding about comparative adjectives. Let me see. Okay, now remember that we use then. Utilizamos el then. All right. We use either. I'm going to give you an example. Okay, look at this example. I'm gonna put it in practice. We're going to put it to, to work here. We're gonna yeah. do a little. Giraffes. All done for. Giraffes are. Giraffes are taller horse. Than okay. horse. Than horse. Taller mm -hmm. than horse. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm listening to a lot of not not bad pronunciation, not bad pronunciation, but lack, falta de pronunciación. Is it horse? Es un horse? Horses. 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 Very good. I see. Giraffes are taller, taller than horses. Excellent. Oh, see. Very good. Taller than horses. Taller than. Siempre utilizamos mm. en el comparative el then. Okay? Yes. When we're comparing something, we're going to use either more or tall, the ER. Or if it ends in Y, we're going to take out the Y and put I and then the ER. And then we're going to use the word then them okay. to make the comparative to make the comparative okay number two elephant 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 are, are bigger, bigger than, than cows. Bigger. Okay. Cows. very good or all right are bigger 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 than cows right elephants are bigger than cows okay what about this, this one? Right. Next one. Giraffe, giraffe 
Some beautiful snake. Some beautiful. Some. More. 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 More beautiful. Very good. More. Remember, if it's, if, it, if it's three syllables, we use more. Right? In the structure que le di anterior, we said more when it's three syllables. So it's more beautiful. More beautiful. All right, very good. More beautiful. Uh, and then, then snakes, right? Then snakes. Okay, very good. Yes, Roberto, Carlos, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Okay. I have a question. How do you say a uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the pronunciation is then or then. Uh, it's beautiful. Then, then, uh, then. then. No okay. then, okay. no then, oh. because then that's another word, right? Then, it's then, then. Es como la E y la A mezclada. They're united. Then, then. Then. All right. Then. 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 All right. Then. Not this. Then. Okay. Not this one. Then. No. Not that one. Okay. Then yeah. is then. Then. All right. Very good question, Roberto. Good job. Can All you, right. Can, can you write? Can you write the pronunciation? Mm, eh, la pronunciación realmente. Eh, o sea, la, then. las pronunciaciones no se escriben, right? You have to just be able to pronounce it, all right? You have to be able to okay. pronounce it. But it's like this. Just to help you out, okay. it's like the uh, then, then, then. It's the A and the N mixed, then. okay? Then. 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 Okay. then. 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 All right? Thank you very much. Very good. Then. Excellent. All right. Let me see. Next one. More beautiful, more beautiful than, than, right? And the next one? Keep our father than God. God. Better than, right? Father than. Very good. And sheep, this say are. Hmm. Is it singular or plural? Plural. Very good, very good. Y no lleva S, right? Very good, very good. You are some words that do not take an S, and they are plural, like sheep es una de ellas. Fish is another one, right? Fish. Fatter than, right? Fatter than. Very good. Okay, eh, Roberto Carlos, do the next one, please. Okay, teacher. Snakes are more dangerous than hens. Very good, Roberto. Very good. You see? Do you remember the pronunciation gets better? La pronunciación se mejora when you repeat and you practice your speaking. Okay? Remember that. Good job, Roberto Carlos. Excellent. All right. All right. So, more dangerous. Thank you. Then, right? More dangerous than. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. And the la and the next one? Cows? Cows are lower. It's lower. Lions. Okay. Okay. Maybe then, right? Then. Very good. Cows are slower than lions. Very lions. Lions. Lions, la S, yes, okay. lions, right, plural. Okay, and the last one? Horses. Horses, Horses are Horses. Louder. louder. Louder, louder. Louder, louder, louder than giraffes. Very good. Then, louder. all right, louder, mm, louder than what? Louder than giraffe. Giraffe. 
Giraffes. 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 Louder. Louder. Okay. Louder than, right? Kiss louder than. Como bullista. Very good. Yeah. Más bullista, right? Louder than, right? Horses, los caballos, right? Horses are louder than giraffes, right? Mapuista, yes. Ruidoso. Yeah, ruidoso, right? Más ruidoso. That is correct. Okay, so this is just a little bit of practice with comparative adjectives. And remember, there is more. There is more. But the time has ran out, right? We are finished. Pasamos a little bit, a few minutes, but no problem with that. Thank you, everyone. And I'm, I'm glad and I'm happy that you ask questions, all right? That makes the class better cuando hacen preguntas, all right? So thank you, everyone, that made questions or made suggestions, gave their opinions, and participated in class, all right? So everyone continue to progress. And this is it. We are finished for today. See you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. All right? See you tomorrow. We will Thank continue. you, teacher. See, See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, good night good everyone. Night. Good 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 night, everyone. Till tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.